Hello! How you doing today? We are going to make cross-cut Hasselback potatoes. Start chopping the ends off the potato. Stand it up. Take off one side. Make a flat surface. It'll be easier cutting the rest of it. Take off the rest of the sides. And keep going until you end up with a skinless potato. Nice. Now... These little bitty pieces of skin wouldn't hurt anything, but I want my potatoes to be sexy and naked. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously though, uh, take off all the skin. Now we're going to take all these little bits, I'm going to put these to the side, I'll chop those up later. Now I'm wanting thinner strips, not whole potatoes, so I'm going to cut this in half. About a half inch thick. Okay, next we're going to get some something like chopsticks you can use straws or other things like these are heavy-duty straws I'll show you here and I'm gonna start with the vertical cuts going down about a uh, you know half centimeter to a centimeter apart however thick you want it keep on going down the length of the potato now we're going to flip the potato over now we're going to do diagonal cuts starting at one end about a 30 to 45 degree angle there we go go all the way down the potato now the straws that I'm using here you can like I said use chopsticks or paint brushes or other things um, will prevent it from going all the way through and you see that accordion like yeah see that's that's what's going to give it the hassle back there. It's going to allow it to cook evenly in between. It's very nice. See, uh, now I'm going to show you the exact same thing, but with paintbrushes. You don't have to have chopsticks to do this. They are nice, and those do work. And there's the vertical cuts. Flip the potato. Then I'm going to do the diagonal cuts at about a 30-some-odd degree angle. There we go. Very nice. And as you see, the accordion-like holes that are in there. Now, we are going to bake these. You can fry them, but we're going to put on a cookie sheet. Salt and pepper is what I would recommend. You could use seasoning salt or any type of seasoning that you really wanted here, um, but with potatoes, I think it's best to keep it basic here. Salt and pepper is really all you really need. There we go. And I use about a tablespoon about tablespoon of both salt and pepper each there we go now I'm gonna stick it in the oven 350 degrees for 40 some odd minutes cook it longer if you want it crispier and there we go there's the result now make sure you can flip them over halfway through cooking time for even browning I'm gonna take a bite here Let's see if I can get on my fork mmm oh and delicious it's definitely worth trying 